Then I'm going to take the next two principles of UDL and blend them together. So how do students make sense of the information uh, and how do they show us what they know and have learned? So this is going to feel a lot like multiple means of representation when we think about, oh, okay, students can have the experience through reading it with their eyes or hearing about it with their ears or doing something with their hands. So again, it sounds like what we said about how we're gonna teach it, and that leads to students being able to experience it or to make sense of it in different ways. And then lastly, how do we figure out, did the kid understand that biology concept or fact or principle? Well, if we only have a written exam with multiple choice tests, questions or true and false, or maybe you're doing something more um, project-based and the student has to do the dissection to show you they know how to dissect, well, now we've limited it. See, that's where that narrowness comes in again. If a student can describe the steps to me, if a student can draw the steps for me, if a student can put the steps in order, or if the student can actually do it. So we want to think about how do we take that idea of all the different ways that I can represent the concept, how students can make sense of the concepts, and how students can show me that they've learned something and keep that varied and multiple, we start to have a lot more flexibility for any student to be able to take part in something that used to feel very complicated, very, um, kind of out of reach for the majority of our students because it's a college prep class. There's like a high level of foundational skills you have to have, a high level of uh, cognitive skills you have to have, and communication, right? You have to be able to do a lot of uh, technical things, be able to read the concepts and understand and apply them. Sure, so the content can be complicated, but when we break it down from an ideal world in terms of universal design or differentiation or access points, we're really thinking about what am I teaching and can I tier my outcomes so that right out of the gate, I have different outcomes being taught in the same activity. So I don't expect everybody to do the activity in the same way. So bottom line, when we target multiple outcomes, or tier your what in the same activity, and that means augmenting what the curriculum already includes, and then we think about how do I teach this using multiple strategies or approaches or inroads? Do I allow students multiple ways to make meaning out of it using their strengths, their interests, the things that already work for them, like in their language, whatever their main language is, with a friend, by themselves, with me as a guide, all of those things are really important as we think about how a student's gonna make sense of something. And then we wanna make sure that they can show us they have learned in a variety of ways as well. So that is an answer or a start of an answer to how do we take something like the universal design for learning principles and apply them in something like a college prep biology course instead of saying that a student needs a life skills course.